Congratulations from five years ago from being there. Well, if it's okay, this, like I said, is a policy I'd like to see us start taking a look at. Mm -hmm. And whether or not it changes or not, I, I mean, it'll go through our process, but um, I just, I find it just really interesting that it would take, a, you know, a lot of time for us to combine the high schools following this policy versus closing a school and uh, closing an elementary school or, you know, some other major decision. And so I, I, I think I understand why the board put the policy in place at the time, but that was a while ago now. So um, if that's okay, I'd like to ask policy that we'll take a look at that. Any other questions or discussions uh, on other topics from this evening? Thank you. Any other questions for Andy or Dave? Thank you very much for prepping for all this and putting it together. And it's it's great information. It's going to take a lot of uh, time and thought and discussion to figure out where we're going. But this is all part of the process. And so appreciate your hard work. Thank you. So what I would like to do is to take a little time, not necessarily tonight, but then what's our next step? What what do we you know we really looked at? just strictly information at this point in time. So we looked at our facilities, we looked at enrollment, we looked at transportation, some other type of things. And now, now it's the difficult part is what, what do we do with 300 capacity at Silverbrook to make it more efficient? What do we do at Badger? What do we, do we have five elementaries and we should have four? If we have five do, in those kind of things, and those are a lot more difficult conversations than the information that we shared the last couple of meetings. And so what we'll try to do is to have some general topic suggestions for you at our meeting next Monday. And so in January, I think we start the next round of discussions that gets more in depth with Facilities. Do we, you know, what, do we start looking at our boundary lines? Do we look at uh, if we went from five elementaries to four? What does that mean? Where's the fourth one? Which one is that going to be? Is it is is a super school part of our discussion it, or not? Is it uh, um, how, how you know what what are some things we can take off the table so that we can put things on the table and go from there? Maybe that's the first thing we do is decide what we're going to take off the table so we're not spending. An enormous amount of time talking about things that there's no interest in doing and then go from there but uh, um, you know one of the first things that I would suggest is that we officially put the rest that 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 there will be no referendum in April we'd have to do that in January if that was going to be that that's the latest you could to have a motion for a referendum would be January and I just think there's no way possible that we're anywhere ready for a referendum if in, in April. I mean, the earliest that I could see would be November, but we have a lot of stuff to do before that could happen as well. So if that's okay with you, and if you have suggestions, please get those to us, and we'll start coming up with possible um, what's our next meeting look like, and, and go from there, and, and uh, um, I, I think this is too important for us to just try to sneak it in on a regular board meeting day. I think this committee the whole works well for this type of discussion and we might need to have two a month rather than one a month just to accomplish what we need to accomplish because I think we need some definite direction by April as to where what we're looking at. Is it easy to uh, plot out where our students live and overlay it on top of the boundary map? I've worked with one company. I've had folks that have done it. Um, I've not done it myself, but there, there are organizations out there that specialize in that. The one that I've worked with in two different districts is called Guide K-12. But any piece of information that you think of that can be mapped out voter information, household income, free and reduced, 
anything, including where they live, can be can be mapped out in. This wow. company does. We'd have to pay them to do it. <clears throat> we don't have the capacity right now. I don't know. If, I don't know if Tim has like Google. I, you know, I know you can do stuff within Google, I'd but have to, I'd have to look at it. <clears throat> really have to can we use Skyward that. student data to plot which has our students' addresses, or is that considered confidential that, information? That, that's where you would utilize that information to populate sure. the service. Um, but yeah, because then what 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 the service specializes in is you can literally start drawing or even draw circumferences around pieces of land and determine yeah radiuses of bus all kinds of stuff. or say i want i want 600 kids to go to this brand new school on this piece of land and it will pull based on and show you what those boundaries look like there's there's different so i think we can start looking at what that might look like but we don't have the capacity ourselves at this point yet. 